Okay, this is a response video to a comment that I got on the Copilot Studio RAG with Azure OpenAI uh, and an Azure AI search. So, comment I got was, hey, I tried to set it up with no success. How did you set up model data and connection properties of Azure OpenAI connection? Under general settings, deployment name is clear. For the API version, I tried both 2024 0501 preview and 2023 0601 preview, but still getting no information was found. Okay, so <clears throat> under, okay, this, I believe in the video I showed you how to just in Azure OpenAI Studio, if you open that, and uh, I believe you said you already understand the deployment name, but that's the friendly name you give when you create a model deployment. <clears throat> so this can be anything, it's just a friendly name. I named it to match the name of the model. So that's deployment name. And then uh, <clears throat> to create the connection in Copa, the studio, in your, uh, it's actually in the, in the solution, uh, in the uh, Power App solution. <clears throat> uh, you can either do it here where it would say deploy to a new Copilot Studio bot. I'm missing the option, I think, because my trial expired. I just extended it. Uh, so that will automatically create the connection. Uh, I believe you already have the connection set up, but just cover this real quick. You can also <clears throat> go into, go to make.powerapps.com. Go to connections, you can click new connection, and then the search box, look for open AI, click that, and then fill out the details. So this is the name, the resource name of your Azure uh, resource. So my Azure resource name is this, demo.azureopenai. Uh, the open AI, the API key, you would get that. Uh, from does it show it here? I think you actually have to go into the OpenAI Studio, and in there it'll show you the API key. Uh, so that would be if you go to uh, view code, it'll show you the open uh, the API key in there. I think you can also get it to it. Okay, yeah, you just get to it by going to, <clears throat> if you go to the chat playground and just click view code, it'll show you the API key here. I'm not going to show it, but you would just click the little eye symbol to, to view it, or you could just copy it to your clipboard. Okay, so, <clears throat> so that's that. And then uh, Azure Cognitive Search Endpoint URL, uh, you can also get that here if you go to in the view code. Uh, does that show that in here? Let's look at curl. Yeah, so it should show it. Let's see. No, it doesn't show it there, but you can get that from the uh, Azure AI search endpoint. Oh, you know, I don't have it connected. That's why <laughs> That's why I'm not seeing it. Uh, and I think I deleted that. But anyways, uh, that, that's easy enough to find. And then the Cognitive Search API key. <clears throat> but in, let's go back to my, where I had it set up here. So I, I apologize. I deleted my Azure AI search endpoint because my my trial for Azure has ended. I'm just on the trial credit and I don't want to be getting charged for that. But we can look, uh, if you go to the topic and go to open code editor. <coughs> so this will show, this is the YAML configuration of the topic, right? So <coughs> the connection reference that gets created automatically when you create that connection and power apps. Uh, so here the API version, actually this has changed. Uh, you have to look at the, you can look up the API documentation for Azure OpenAI.
So that might be why you're having issues. Uh, look at the API documentation. I'll drop a link to this in here. Um, but it seems like when you when you go ahead and do this now in the chat studio, it defaults to <coughs> uh, defaults to this API version 2024-02-1. I believe that's the most current. If we look at here, where does it show the API versions? Okay, here's supported versions. I'll drop a link to this. This is the latest supported version. So I use this 2024 2024-02-01. <clears throat> this gets updated regularly, but this is the most current version. Uh, and then going back to the topic. So the deployment name is the my friendly name of the deployment. Uh, temperature and top P and max tokens. That's all up to you what you want to select. Uh, and then the you have to put the the other properties for your Azure AI search. So the text embedding, deployment name, the semantic configuration name, uh, query type should be semantic. And uh, yeah, I believe that should be all you need. Uh, and you would get you would get all that from your Azure AI search deployments, the way you the way you configure those. And if you <coughs> if you connect that in the chat uh, playground, it should show you all that. If you go to uh, if you go to the view code, uh, it should show you the look at the um, the curl version. It'll show you that there. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have an, any other questions about that.